Dean, back to back wins in the league, you must be pleased. Delighted. It's difficult to do in this division. Um, there's no easy games as we've seen. Even though we didn't have, you know, the refereeing decision didn't go for, especially before half time, right on half time, Mitchie Blunders put a fantastic cross in and uh, everyone scored a great header. I felt it was onside at the time, and people tell me that was definitely onside. And they're big decisions, it's right on half time. It makes us go two and a look at the break, and it gives them a mountain to climb. Um, but in the end, it gave them more belief than us. And I spoke half time about coming out and, you know, see, can we go two, see, can we go three? We didn't want to sit back on a one goal lead. And we didn't in the end. We dropped too deep for their, uh, their goal. It was a wide free kick, we're way too deep for an in swinger. It's criminal defending, to be totally honest with you. I've told the lads that. But what we have got now is a winning mentality, and that's created. We've got togetherness. Um, our supporters were fantastic to them, delighted. We won. You know, sometimes it's better to win in this fashion than going and winning four and five now because expectations get raised. But I'm just delighted for everybody and delighted for our chairman. He goes through a tough time at times. But one thing I would say about our chairman, he's honest as a day's long. He says how it is. Some might like it, some mightn't. But I have a great relationship with him and I'm delighted for him. Uh, Keir Flanagan was a uh, provider with, with, t- with uh, setting up both goals at uh, Stockport. Scored one tonight and then obviously cleared one off the line and won the, uh, the Van Arman Nash, uh, Man of Match. So you must be pleased for him. Yeah, delighted for Keane because I spoke to Keane. He, he started uh, 95% of the games this season and he needs to add goals some games. You've got to get his numbers right. Um, and he got a goal in the hurt zones, I call it. He got into the six yard box or in around that zone and scored. Um, and I've been talking to him, we've been working on it with video with him getting in the box. I've been showing him videos of Frank Lampard because I think he's got the, uh, the attributes to do that, uh, get in the box without the ball. You know, he's a nice dribbler, he's got good skill, he's got good speed. And then he cleared him off the line, that was his job. He did one away at Kings Lynn in the last minute as well, up there. And I remember against Wrexham, we had this debate, well, not debate, we had a conversation, which was last Monday. And uh, two balls went in at the far post. And that's because a certain player wasn't doing his job. I don't want to hang him out to dry. Today, Keane did his job in the, in the right area, right zones, and it was, a, it was a huge moment within the game as well. Yeah, Efren was a, was a real live wire down the wing again, wasn't he? Yeah, he's an outstanding player. You know, what, what a player, what a kid. What I like about him, of a great saying in life, reliability is better than ability, and he's becoming a super reliable player uh, for the 22 year old. Uh, his speed, his athleticism, his skill, um, the way he walks without the ball, he runs without the ball as well. And he deserves to have more goals than what he's got at the moment. I've no doubt goals will come true from no doubt whatsoever. Of, uh, and he's a uh, son of at the minute. Your substitute, Rob, Rob Hall, obviously uh, scored the winner with a fantastic goal. Yeah, that was our substitute. Our, to be, you know, when we make a sub, I want to create togetherness. It's not just my substitute, I don't get the credit for that. To be fair to Hawley, come on, he had a nightmare. He gave the ball away all the time. I just said that the same there on BT Sport. And, uh, but he scored a great goal. That's the capabilities he's got. He's got them tools, great force touch. and he, like, you know, dipped one bit of paintbrush into the far corner. And um, what I'm w- a bit frustrated about is that they're getting an effort from their kickoff and they're crossing the ball in their box and they had a great chance and they've pulled it wide and that's frustrating. So if we're to keep this winning mentality and keep that, we need to focus much better. And I know we've got a lot of injuries. You know, from, from Tuesday night, we had to change both fullbacks. I thought Sam Beard was outstanding. So the lad has been out injured for a while. Um, and ideally, you know, Harry Taylor's been ex- outstanding at Royce, so the centre back we have to play two lefties in that department. Rico's got through the game for us, but that's what we've got at this moment in time. We've got a lot of togetherness, and like I said, that's created and long may it continue. You, you, ben, you mentioned Ben Richards Everton there, uh, how, how's he doing after coming off? Yeah, we'll find out the extent over the next uh, 48 hours. Um, he's got a rolled ankle or a twisted ankle, so he'd have backed you today, now he's got an ankle. Probably be leaving out here in a wheelchair soon. <laughs> so yeah, look, Rico played today. You know, he, he has been niggled, had a bit of injury in his back, and like I say, he played during the night, which we're proud of. And that's what we need. That's what we need. You know, Sir had to come on. He's walked his socks off. That's all we can ask of any man. All we want is good old-fashioned, honest, hard work, and that's what we're getting. We took our chance to say when they presented themselves uh, our way, and also weathered the storm quite well, uh, is especially in, in, in the start of the second half. Yeah, look, I say, all the shot are a wounded animal. They've gone and brought in a new goalkeeper, which makes them stronger. They've brought in the lad Mo Silla in midfield, who was playing at Oldham last year, he's a good player, makes them stronger. So, they're a li- little bit unlucky. I thought Mo Betama going off was a, was a, was a positive for us, because um, he held the ball up well and he ran the channels really well for them. But I felt that we should have had a bigger lead down in a half time, personally, for the, for the areas we got into. We need to make sure that we're a little bit more, I thought we had them by the throat and we didn't really make the kill. Um, that's what we've got to do now. How's the break-in play now going to uh, going to affect us? That, given the fact we we're starting to build some momentum. Yeah, look, we've got a game against Stevenage on Tuesday uh, behind closed doors against them. Uh, some of the lads need minutes in that. Then we've got Hayes and Yedden Tuesday week. 
and they'll be the next two games we focus on and then we'll move on to the next game in, in the league campaign. And we obviously saw the togetherness right at the end there between the, the, uh, the fans and the players and yourself as well. It was great to see. I'm delighted for our supporters. You know, they were fantastic today and they really drove us forward through tough times. Because it's easy to go, oh, oh and then be negative like that. But what they've done, they've been positive. And that gives the players a boost. That gets, makes them stick their chest out and go, do you know what? Their fans are with us. That's so important that we're all in it together. Once they see honesty, hard work, that's all supporters want. They just want to see a good, honest bunch of players. And that's what we've got. And uh, to, to score a late winner live on the, on BT isn't bad either, is it? It's great. It's great exposure for the football club, and uh, it was a great goal as well. What a fantastic goal! Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy for us all. Thanks for your time, Dean, and congratulations on another fantastic three points. Cheers, Aaron.